Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life. So what love messages do we have for Aquarius at this time? What does Aquarius need to know regarding their love life? Please give us clear and concise messages for Aquarius. Thank you so much. Oh, shit. We got a lot of messages coming in. All right, let's see. All right, so we're starting off with the Hierophant. Okay, so some of you may be in a committed relationship, in a marriage. Let's see. Queen of Swords. So here you have your energy coming through, or you may be dealing with another air sign person. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here. So you have someone coming towards you with excitement and passion. And the Magician, they're ready to make things happen. Okay, taking action. Okay, so for those of you, I love that I just fit that there perfectly. Okay, so for those of you that are looking to have that committed relationship and you feel like, you know, somebody has just been dragging ass, it's coming. Okay, they're coming forward. They're getting ready to take action. Okay, let's get some more messages here for you. What other messages do we have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising? Regarding their love life. Now, this could be you towards someone else as well. So if you're not dealing with another um, air sign person, then this could represent the air energy, which is somebody that's very, like, outspoken, bold, no bullshit kind of person, no, uh, no bullshit kind of personality, okay? Or it may be you or another air sign, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Aquarius regarding their love life? What other messages do we have for Aquarius regarding their love life? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so you have passion coming through. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Okay, now for my singles out there, this can be somebody that is coming towards you, somebody new that is coming towards you. Okay, so this isn't just for those of you that are in a relationship. Okay, so if you're already in a relationship with someone and you have this insane chemistry, you guys get along, you have fun, you know, it, there's a lot of equality here, then I see things going to the next level. Okay, now if this is you waiting for somebody new to come into your life because you're single, it's coming and you guys are gonna have extreme chemistry and passion. Okay, this person is even going to be chasing you. Okay, so if they weren't before, they're going to now. And if this is someone new coming in, they're just going to be in so much awe with you. They're going to love, I'm feeling, if they're not an air sign and this is your energy, they're going to love the fact that you're just very blunt and forward. And, you know, like there's no surprises. They What you see is what you get when they're dealing with you. And I feel that's refreshing for them because there's too many people that, they're just not honest. You know, everything is like, you know, don't reveal who you really are. Like we live in a society now where it's like more fake than anything and it's fucking awful. And I feel you being you, they're going to love that because it's like, like I said, refreshing. So they're going to be chasing you. Okay. And if this is somebody that you're with now, that's been kind of dragging ass, they're going to fear losing you because we also have here fear of abandonment. Okay. So they may feel that, you know, you're ready to kick their ass to the curb and they're not going to like it, okay? And then we have soulmates here. So you have a soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Like I said here with the Hierophant, this is a serious commitment coming up or you're going to feel this person that you meet is your soulmate or this person that you're already with is going to realize how connected they are to you and how much they don't want to lose you and then they're going to start chasing you, Okay. So let's get some letters here. Let's get some initials and see who is coming towards Aquarius, who is Aquarius dealing with. Person, place, or thing for my fellow Aquariuses, please. Clear and concise messages for Aquarius. Who are they dealing with? Who's coming towards them? Please give me some more details for Aquarius. Who's going to be chasing Aquarius? 
Who's going to be chasing Aquarius? Oh, come on. Really? It was so nice and neat. You guys, I hear you laughing. You bunch of boobs. My guides sometimes, for real, like, so immature. <laughs> Whatever. It was kind of funny. All right. Ha, 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 ha. Fine. <laughs> okay, last shuffle. All right. Thank you. All right, so we have the letter A. Who's coming towards you? Who's going to be chasing you, Aquarius? We have the letter A. G. So G, A, so it could be somebody in Georgia. O. Y. Okay, so I'm getting gay spelled down here. So if you're gay, this might be a reading for you. K. You know, also, love reading, just saying, it doesn't always have to be romantic. So this could be a friendship that you really connect with this person and you feel like you have that soulmate connection and the chemistry, you know, it doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. The chemistry is just amazing. And this may be like a gay friend. Okay. And then we have okay spell down here and the letter L. I don't know why Loki is coming through. If Loki resonates with any of you then that message is for you. I'm also getting low key. So low key something, somebody may be uh, having a crush on you or admiring you like low key. And um, yeah, and you guys, they're gonna just feel that soulmate connection and, and passion with you. And then they're just gonna start like more and more showing interest, you know, like the chase. Okay, I'm also, I'm also seeing loyal. And um, somebody might be local to where you're living, okay? And somebody might be Jewish because I'm seeing here like, oi. So <laughs> somebody might be like a little nervous like, oi, okay, I'm doing this now, you know? Okay. So lag is also spelled down here. So where they were lagging behind before, now, you know, they're going to start catching up to like what you already understood and where you were. And they're going to get ready to be loyal. Okay, so right now they could even be just like kind of low-key. They do care about you, but, you know, they're just like, okay, you know, not making uh, anything really known, you know. Okay, so let's see if we can get some traits for you too. Okay, so this is anybody that you're dealing with. Traits of somebody new that might be coming in. Okay, I'm also getting the name Gail is coming through. And I'm seeing uh, Kyle and Luke. Luke is coming through. Okay. So what other messages do we have for Aquarius? Okay. Give me some traits of who Aquarius' this person is going to be that's coming in. Who is going to be chasing Aquarius? Let's get some of the... Traits of this person that's going to be chasing Aquarius. Okay, so they may be short. Now, short can be shorter than you or shorter than, you know, what you have as a expectation, as standard. So if you're like, I like six feet tall people and this person's 5'10". Okay, well, that's shorter than what you wanted, but that's short. Not necessarily short, but it could be short to you. You know what I mean? Okay, intellectual. Bald. Now, this is a general reading, so it doesn't mean they're going to have all of these traits. Okay, this is for everybody watching. Tattoos. I'm also getting royal here. So they may be into like royalty in some way. Okay, something with their ears. They may have tattoos on their ears because that just came underneath tattoos, but it doesn't have to be. Something about their eyes, you find mesmerizing, I'm hearing. Their nose. Athletic. Oh, looky, looky, darlings. Loyal. Mm-hmm. And supportive. Very important. Okay, I know somebody that's going to love that part. <laughs> well, a lot of these, but the supportive is, is like icing on the cake. Okay. 
fantastic. All right, so let's see. Let's get some more messages here for you. All right, so when when is this going to happen? Let's get some uh, possible timing here for you. What's the possible timing here for my Aquariuses? What's going on with Aquarius? What are the messages do they have? When is this person going to be coming into Aquarius's life? When is this person going to start chasing Aquarius? All right, thank you. Okay, so you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. So for that's for anyone that may have had an issue with that. You and your loved ones are safe. I'm also getting uh, with this person coming in, this could be somebody that um, like works with the police or fire department or something that keeps people safe. So you feel like safer having this person around. Okay, so new moon in Cancer, it may be someone that is a Cancer or look to see when new moon in Cancer is. It could also just be the next new moon phase. Again, general reading, timeless reading. So the uh, possibilities are endless. It all depends what resonates with you. Okay, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So what did I say before, Aquarius? They love about you that you know bullshit. You're not fake. You show who you are. Take it or leave it. You like me, you don't, you don't. I don't give a shit. My life goes on, you know? That's just how it is. So show the world, the world the real you. Don't stop being who you are because that's what they love about you. Full moon, full moon in Aquarius. Okay, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So you might be dealing with a Taurus and this could be somebody that was lagging and, you know, they need to do things better. They need more of a practical plan. We have two full moons here so far. So look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius, which we have some fire energy here. Okay, another full moon. So look again, when is full moon in Taurus? When is full moon in Sagittarius? But look at the bigger picture nonetheless. Okay, so if you're already in a relationship with someone and then they're going to start to chase you, look at the bigger picture. Okay. And balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, full moon in Pisces. Same rules apply. Now that's um, four full moons here. So the full moon is definitely the dominant moon energy. So by the next full moon, somebody's getting some information here, okay? So you might be dealing with Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, or Cancer. If you don't have any of those signs, it's okay. Then just the messages or the full moon, new moon may resonate with you, okay? All right, so those are your messages, Aquarius. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.